Welcome back to the channel. We're back under si under uh, the Saturn again. Uh, checking out the fuel tank pressure sensor. And uh, one of the things I failed to show you guys last time, um, we actually did check it, just not on camera. Um, I wanted to make sure that the uh, signal that the PCM is actually uh, receiving is, is true and accurate. So I have back probed this connector here. Uh, just to orient you guys, to your right is the rear right wheel. You're basically sitting under the filler neck and where the spare tire sits, rear axle, etc. Um, and so there is an 8-pin connector, weather pack connector here. And uh, we have back probed the gray with red trace, which is our signal return to the PCM. The PCM right now is reporting 0.22 volts. And let's see, can you guys see my voltmeter? Hang on, I don't think I've got that good. I keep knocking it out, hang on. All right. I guess see 0.25 on the meter. So we know that the PCM is act actually able to accurately receive information. Uh, just in case you were wondering if the PCM or a line of the PCM might be bad, signal return might be bad, it's fine. We've already checked it for five volt reference and ground. Those are good as well. Uh, the brown with white trace is your five volt reference. This red with pink trace, because that's a good idea, uh, is your ground. All right, let's pull a fuel tank. First thing we're gonna do is alleviate fuel pressure because, well, quite frankly, we ran the car to pull it in the bay. So uh, most cars have two fuse panels in them nowadays, not just the one under the, under the uh, hood. Uh, heck, we've got one car that has three. All right, let's see if I can make that lighting less terrible. There we go. So we all can see. All right, so if you don't have a scan tool with bi-directional control, one of the things you can do is pull the fuse for the fuel pump with the engine running, and you will effectively starve the engine of fuel and draw down any residual fuel pressure. Uh, that way you don't take a gas bath. And we begin. All right. <clears throat> Vapor line. Fuel tank vapor. Mm. And you can really smell the fumes because it's been sitting. We're going to pull this electrical connector. And we need to loosen this from the fuel tank and also our fuel filter, which I just saw when I did it with there. Wait, right here. Well, I'm the light, you guys can't see it. You're not looking. All right, so let me get us some tools. And I uh, probably need to move you guys because you're probably gonna not be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so. 13 mil. Oh, come here, you. Let's see if we can get in there. A little better. Oh, day 900 and whatever of the coronavirus lockdown. What 
else is there to do? Let's drop the fuel tank. Interesting now. Make sure we're not going to get pinned. That would be good. I need an extension. I think. I think I need an extension. Maybe a shorter extension. Bam! So my hope is that we don't have to actually drop the entire fuel tank. It is going to come down and rest on the exhaust somewhat uh, my hope is we don't have to pull the whole thing completely out of the car and just lower it enough to where we can get to our fuel top of the fuel tank pressure for that we'll pump and pressure Pop it out, pop it in. And at least he didn't fill up the fuel tank. And through the miracle of modern technology and television, the tank is now dropped. Not completely out of the car. We lowered it just enough to get under it. I'm going to channel Eric O. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Give you guys a little more light. Let's see if I can do this without blinding you. That right there is the top of our fuel pump module and you see the wiring coming from the right. That is going to be our fuel pump power and ground return, uh, as well as the fuel tank pressure sensor. So I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see while I do this, I'm probably gonna be right up in the way. It's pretty tight down here. Uh, so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to, to see what I'm doing, but we're gonna, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try to let you guys see. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reach in there disconnect that electrical connector and uh you know wiggle the thing out i'll show you the part i'll show you a diagram how it goes in it just basically pops out pops in there are no screws bolts nuts retainers it's just uh, uh sitting a little hole with a with an o-ring so There's a part. It was just seated in the uh, fuel tank, top of the fuel tank module, just like this. And, uh, you know, had to uh, pry to get it up. So, we got, we got a new one. Can you guys see that part number if you need it? AC Delco. looks the same and we'll pop it back in okay so there's our old one a little organization going here strap bolts all right before I butt this completely up I want to make sure that we're actually getting a good reading at the PCM now, similar to how we did at the beginning of the video. So, in exactly two seconds, I'll be set up and ready to run that test. All right, as I said, through the modern miracle of modern television, we are back. Our scan tool is hooked up, our car is on, it has auto ID'd the car, and we are an enhanced powertrain looking at a fuel tank pressure signal of 1.5 volts, 
Got my multimeter here set to DC volts. Touch signal return. Find us a good ground and make sure we're actually hitting the pin. It's these weather packs. I always have trouble feeling in the weather packs, but I guess that's I guess that's kind of the point. All right, can you guys see that? 1.52 volts. So our actual sensor and the PCM agree. Good sensor, good fix. Here in the Carolinas, we're uh, really starting to open up a little bit. Uh, a lot of the little towns have uh, started doing alfresco dining. They set up, you know, close off Main Street in town and set up tables. Uh, set up tables in the street so that uh, restaurants can, you know, accommodate for the 50% capacity restriction that the, the governor has in place now and, and say what you like about the whole thing I'm uh, more comfortable now than I wildly was two months ago um, and I'm let's go over here to the gas station real quick. Uh, How is it where you guys are? What state are you in? What are you guys doing? What restaurants have opened up? Uh, they've allowed barber shops to open up, so so that's that's good because uh, I don't know about you, but I was getting ready to shave my head. It wasn't going to be good, and uh, I'll go get my COVID cut hopefully this weekend. Uh, you know, <laughs> three-hour wait. All right, put a few bucks in it here. Oh, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment about not using top tier detergent gasoline, but uh, hey, this is close. All right, in the future, refueling your car takes uh, one and a half seconds. So we've got half a tank of fuel, 56% uh, of 13 gallons, as it were right now. Uh, and the other reason I ran to a gas station nearby is to get the EVAP monitor to run. The engine, the air intake temperature and the engine coolant temperature have to be pretty close. Basically a, basically a cold start uh, if you're able to get the EVAP monitor to run. But, you know, coolant temperature is reading 187. The air intake's 88 degrees, 1,000% humidity this morning. Which probably makes it uh, feel like, oh, I don't know, you know, 170,000 degrees outside. <clears throat> so EVAP is not going to run. Let's see if we can center you guys up here real quick. There we go. And uh, so EVAP's not going to run. But fuel tank pressure is holding at. 1.47 to 1.49 is fluctuating. So that means it's actually reading. Remember before we had a static reading of 0.22 volts and holding, and then at one point we saw 4.8 volts and holding, bang on the tank, push on the tank, couldn't get it to change. A lot of construction going on. A lot of talk in town about graduation. Of course, I'm sure that's the same where you are. All the high school, college kids don't get their graduation ceremony. They didn't do prom. I don't know. I'm 
you know, 20 years out of high school maybe. And looking back at this point, I don't know if I really care about Would I, today, would I care about going to prom? No. Would I care about graduating? Probably not. I didn't walk when I graduated college. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm not 18. It's not been my entire life. It's, you know, all I've known is school, so. Well, there you have it, folks. How to replace your fuel pressure, uh, fuel tank pressure sensor in your uh, 04 Saturn Ion. Um, check out part one for the uh, diagnostic piece and uh, you know I got to keep moving I got I got two more cars one with a water pump we'll probably uh, we'll probably film that one and an oil change I don't know if you guys care about oil changes maybe maybe you do maybe you don't don't know but uh, I got to keep moving why don't you guys keep moving down there leave us a comment question concern like us share subscribe and remember guys not a mechanic even I can do this. See you next time.